Hello everyone, I'm Raven Mad Gamer, and welcome to another episode of Instant Replay. Today we're checking out Castlevania, The Laws of Shadow, the Ultimate Edition. I think the Ultimate Edition just comes with the DLC. There's no real major difference. So we're just going to get into the game. So if you've never heard of this, this came out in 2010. Um, that says 2013 down there, this is the 2013 Ultimate Edition, but the original version came out in 2010. It had quite a few couple of well-known actors in the game, um, like voice actors, and it was, yeah, you had like Robert Carlyle, if you don't know him, you might have seen a film called Train Spotting or Full Monty, that's one of two, that's two of them, and also the uh, legend that he is, Patrick Stewart, is in this game. So we're just going to jump straight into it. Fate has played its hand, and now there the he is. is set. I knew this child would play her part somehow, and it seems Gabriel has real help at last. It bodes well for our quest. The golem that protects the girl has something that could prove very useful in the end. Something unforeseen. My dear friend, I see your destiny before me, and it is terrible indeed. And yet I have trust that all will be as I have hoped. I'm just gonna skip this cutscene. Yeah. The places where crystal shards are low are purple in colour. You need four shards to create one whole crystal. So let me give you the quick rundown of this game. You play this guy here, you play Gabriel Belmont. He's on a quest to find and kill the Lords of Shadow and take their power so the evil in the world can be stopped and use the power to bring back his dead wife. His wife is already dead by the start, when the game starts. So the latest quest line I've got to do here is open this door where these giant robot machine titans are. There's this girl, her black knight. So basically, if you've ever played any of the Castlevania games, it's totally different. It's an action third per uh, yeah, third person. Was it purpose? Yeah, I would say it's third person, like action RPG. So I'll give you the basic rundown of the combat. So I'm using Xbox 360 controllers. So the X button um, does basic attacks. I got a uh, chain that basically my cross is a chain weapon, and I've got a wide range one, like a range sword. I have daggers, jump. Uh, I also have a block. I roll. Um, I've got a use button, I just grab stuff. I have light. Don't have time to lose, Gabriel. Find the areas where crystal shards grow. Oh, shut up. Yeah, she's telekinetic, so. Telekinetic? She has telepathy. You must find dark crystals. Okay. Let's go and find these dark crystals. So this, yeah, this is the ultimate edition, which came out in 2013. So I'll show you the combat. This comes with both the DLCs. It is a little bit loud. I'll turn it down a little bit for you. There we go. You can actually hear my voice. So this is the. So I'm going to turn on my light power, get some health back, that's what light power does, apparently. That allows me to get some of my health back. You can't carry any more daggers, okay. I have a scroll that I will not read. Whee! Combat's pretty simple. Ma just mix mashing. I can absorb these. Oh sh! Right, she's got telepathy, so she's talking to me in my head. 
Okay, here's one of the crystals, I think. You found a crystal shard. We need three more now. Oh, she's so annoying. So basically, she's got telepathy. She doesn't speak normally. So she talks to you in your head, like a Professor X. It's kind of ironic because the guy who does the voice for Professor X, who plays Professor X in the X-Men films, is in this game. A lot of blood and gore in this game. Okay, so. Do do do, go through here. Over here, I think. I have no idea where I'm going. I did do a previous recording of this, um, but it didn't record. I thought it recorded, but it didn't. You can't carry any more daggers. Okay. I don't know why I did that, because I'm at full health. I always forget to dodge. That's not like an instant kill. <laughs> A single dagger literally killed him. Remember, we still need three more crystal shards. No, you don't. You need two now. Shut up. You found another one. We need two more. I, need I can get through there. I need. Upgrade the combat cross. Okay, I haven't got that ability yet. Okay. Okay, that's an instant death. Okay, that's my fail. Yeah, there is a sequel to this uh, called the just called the Laws of Shadow Two. to go from here. I need two more shards. It makes this weird grunting noise. Gem. What's through here? Can I come through here? I don't know. I must have come through here. Yeah, I did come through here. Remember, we still need two more crystal shards. Oh, shut up! She's doing me head in there. little bar at the bottom that's basically a combo multiplier multiplier um, basically what that does is when it's full I do something special it goes down over time Sometimes it's not exactly clear where you've got to go in this bit. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Over here? I can't use that. Okay. Remember, we still need Alright, she's seriously doing my idea. Crystal shards. Right, I'm going to turn the volume down just a tad. I'm not using the headset um, because of my new computer, which I've got, 
you've not recently watched my Assassin's Creed little um, quick look, shall we say? Um, okay, there's nothing there. Yeah, so I did a little give it a chance. Ooh, wait, 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 what's that? I saw something then. Ah, there we go. I figured it out. Go me! Yeah, so I did a little quick look on Assassin's Creed running 60 frames a second because my new PC is freaking awesome. Um, yeah, so it's my new PC. Whoa! Uh, has like the new RTX graphics card. Remember, we still need two more crystal shards. You keep telling me I've got two more shards to find. That's great. Thank you. You are not annoying at all. Okay, so what's in here? Oh, hello. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, there's three. I'm almost fucking dead. Oh, a bit over the top. I'm a little bit preoccupied at the moment, lady. Why is it? I'm gonna grab you. Oh, he killed me. Remember, we still need two more crystal shards. Shut up! You're doing me in. Okay. Dodging. Let me grab him. There we go. This is so over the top. He's like full blown lichens. Remember, we still need two more crystal shards. Oh. 
turn down the fucking difficulty because that is way too hard. And I'm a big wuss. Wussy! Remember, we still need two more crystal shards. <laughs> I'm stuck in the corner, which doesn't help me. Oh. Oh, what? I need obviously get health back because of it. Keep pressing the wrong button. Here. Remember, we still need two more crystal shards. They won't let me do the fucking move. Sorry. There we go. I'm always too early on it. I'm not talking because I'm concentrated. Oh, damn it. I've killed your friend. Remember. There's no lock on system in this game, which is really f frustrating. Thank the gods. That was seriously doing my aim. I died so many times. Excellent. Just one more. I really want to murder her. I've obviously missed one. Right, there's one there. Okay, I can't go up there. If she tells me. Oh, fuck off, I'm not dealing with you, Freya.
found that shit. I'm out of there. Oh, there it is. I've got the dark crystal. Now you're not meant to. Now come back here. Do not waste the crystal, or you'll have to find another one. That's not looking good. Oh, it's a cave troll, I think. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Now what? Oh. Use ancient crystal power. I think that pretty much sums up what have you got to do in uh, Castlevania Laws of Shadow. Ultimate edition! Um, I'm just going to finish this chapter. I should be finished nearly. I should be done now. Oh, it's a challenge. Behind that big door, the Titan awaits you. Okay, so I'm supposed These to. These statues seem to be here for a reason. Okay, so take this guy's thingy, Majigi. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to take the crystal from here. Okay. The door's open, so I don't have to worry about that shit. Okay, so. Statues can move somehow. I forget about that. These statues can move somehow. And what the power is that? There you go. Puzzle solved! Good work, Gabriel. And then that's the end of the chapter. That pretty much sums up what Castlevania Laws of Shadow 1 is. Um, it's a lot of hack and slashing, it's a lot of dying from werewolves. Um, um, but there's a lot of puzzles, it's not... I prefer the original Castlevania games. They are really, 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 really good. Even now, like, retrospectively. It has a nostalgic value. I think the, the DS, the Mirror of Fate, tries to replicate that, and I don't think it does it as well. Um, and a lot of games have used that Castlevania-style kind of gameplay, like the flat-screen platforming, or 2D. Although Mirror of Fate was 3D, but on a flat 2D plane. Um, 
and they brought Castlevania back from the modern day with the Netflix series. If you haven't watched that, watch it. It's worth it. It's brutal, it's bloody, they swear a lot, and it's a completely different take on Trevor's story going out to kill Dracul or Dracula. I think in those sort of two you do play as Dracula. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what it's all about today, This on this instant replay. Uh, thank you for joining today. Um, if you haven't checked the previous episode, which is The Prince of Persia, the 2008 remake, I recommend that you check that out. I also recommend that you please check out the, Castle, uh, the Assassin's Creed Valhalla game that I've recently recorded. It was uploaded this week, a few days ago. So yeah. I will see you in the next episode of Instant Replay and also in the next episode of Give It A Go. Until next time my fellow gamers, I bid you farewell.